A very warm welcome to this, our first ever national online Christingle service. I'm Bishop Libby Lane and I welcome you to my chapel here at Bishop's House, my home in Derbyshire. As well as serving as Bishop for this county and city, it is my privilege to be Vice Chair of Trustees for the Children's Society, who introduced the service of Christingle to the Church of England just over 50 years ago. Christingle this year will look very different, with many like this one happening online. And although we can't gather in person through the wonders of technology, it is a privilege to be able to share the good news of the light and hope of Jesus, who always shines in the darkness. Now, during our service today, we'll be visiting Canterbury and Gloucester cathedrals to find out more about the meaning of Christingle. And we'll be lighting Christingles together as a reminder that the light and hope Jesus brings always overcomes darkness. It's wonderful to be with you all. We don't know much about Christmas this year. It's going to be different. That we do know. But one thing is the same, because Christmas is different every year in every family, sometimes in happy ways, sometimes in sad ways. And that's why the Children's Society is around. And all over the world, Children will be celebrating Christmas in all kinds of good ways and less good ways. Some in refugee camps and war and others in lovely, secure places of warmth and comfort and love. But one thing never changes. However great the darkness, Christmas has at its heart the idea that the light of God comes into the world. The light of Christ comes into the world, into our lives, into the creation. That light is celebrated at the Christingle. In the darkness of winter days, it brings together churches, schools, and communities to celebrate the light, the light that always overcomes the darkness. We make Christingles to symbolize the world. That's the point of the orange, because it's round and it's like the world. They have the fruit of the earth on them, all the good things that the world produces for us. And if you're sensible, like me, you slowly eat the fruit on your Christingle through the service to give you energy although you will be told that that is the wrong thing to do. They have a red band round them, which reminds us that Jesus came and died on the cross. It's the red band of the love of Jesus shown in the shedding of his blood on the cross. And they have a light, which is the light of Christ. And we light that light to say to ourselves, we will be light in the world. We'll be the presence of Jesus. One way in which that happens is that through the Christingle celebrations, which raise about 1.2 million pounds a year for the work of the Children's Society, there is support given to some of the most vulnerable children and young people. Many of them are in very dark places, physically, spiritually, economically, lacking love and care. And the children's society comes in with light. And it's a light of warmth and hope. By taking part in your service, by helping the children's society, you're directly helping those children who need your help. I support passionately the work of the Children's Society. I want to thank them for what they do. And I want to thank you for being part of this service and for bringing the light of Christ to those who so desperately need it. I'm going to end with a little prayer, praying for this Christmas, for the light, 
for the children's society. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I hold this Christingle and think about your great love for me and for those especially in places of darkness at this time, give me strength, give us all strength to take this light into the world, to share your love with others, especially vulnerable children and young people. And we remember particularly before you the work of the Children's Society. Guard and bless them. Amen. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Welcome to All Saints Canterbury. My name is Reverend Phil Gregg, and I'm delighted to be joined by children from our local primary school. We are here today to celebrate the light and hope of Chris Dingle. Well, let's begin with our opening response. Christ has brought us out of darkness to, to live in his wonderful light. As Royal President of the Children's Society, I'm delighted to take part in this year's national online Christingle service. I have happy memories of attending the wonderful celebration of the 50th anniversary of Christingle in Salisbury Cathedral two years ago and meeting the excited school children who took part. Christingle is a much loved Christmas tradition 
in many churches, schools and communities up and down the country. And this year, the light and hope symbolised by Chris Dingle is needed more than ever. It is a comfort to many that, despite the challenging circumstances, Chris Dingle services such as this will be happening in new and creative ways. Wherever and however they take place, I hope they will be joyous occasions for communities across the country. Chris Dingle services also make an important contribution to the vital work of the Children's Society. Thanks to the generosity of those who attend and take part, the charities work to support some of the UK's most vulnerable children and young people can continue and help to change lives for the better. This work is also more important now than ever, as vulnerable children and young people have been hugely affected by the coronavirus pandemic. For some, their mental health and well-being has worsened. For others, the challenges of poverty has been even more acute. Since the coronavirus outbreak, I have been keeping in touch with the Children's Society and have been heartened to learn about how they have adapted their services, giving support over the phone or online to children who may be isolated or unsafe at home and continuing to support young people, including young carers, refugees and migrants remotely. I know that the Children's Society will continue this work to champion the hope and happiness of young people. As we come together to celebrate Christingal, I wish you and your family and communities a peaceful and joyful Christmas season. Each Sunday in Advent, we light a candle on the Advent wreath to remind us of those who prepared the way for Jesus, the light of the world. And on this third Sunday in Advent, we remember John the Baptist. Light of the world, John told the people to prepare, for you were very near. As Christmas grows closer day by day, and as we celebrate the light of Christingle, help us to be ready to welcome you now. Amen. As we think of those who prepared the way for Christ, we say, Jesus, the light of the world, shine in this place. Jesus, the light of the world, shine in our hearts. Jesus, the light of the world, shine in our lives. Jesus, the light of the world, shine in all the earth. Amen.
Hello, I'm Rose Hudson Wilkin, the Bishop of Dover in the Diocese of Canterbury. I am delighted to be taking part in the first ever national online Christinger service. As a parish priest, the Christinger service was not only a favorite of mine, but also for the families in our parish and the children in our local school. We would spend the time making the Christingles, getting many people involved. Even my local shopkeepers would purchase the oranges. And it would be a wonderful service with the children as together we talk through the story of the different elements of the Christingle. The red band, the, the four uh, seasons of the year, the fruits, uh, the light uh, of Christ in the center of that Christingle. I miss being in the parish and those wonderful Christingle service. The Children's Society is an important organization. Important because of the work that it does with vulnerable children and young people. They believe in the potential of every child and young person. Your support of the Children's Society is in effect supporting these children and the young people they work with. They seek to empower young people to make positive changes and rediscover their sense of hope. They want a future for the young people and for the children, a future that they can look forward to, a future that they can ensure that they flourish. Working alongside young people is at the heart of what the Children's Society do. And they not only work directly with these young people, but they also work with the families and communities. So it's a real holistic work being done. And I hope that you will support the Children's Society so that this important piece of work can continue. I now read from Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 to 4 and 8 to 11. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. 
as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all nations. The Word of the Lord. Welcome to Gloucester Cathedral. My name is Bishop Rachel and I'm the Bishop of Gloucester. And every year we're delighted to hold a Christingle service in this cathedral and children from all over the diocese from our schools come and take part. Sadly, this year we can't do that. But I am so glad that we are taking part in the first ever National Christingle Service online. And of course, one of the things we do at Christingle is celebrate the amazing work of the Children's Society. The Children's Society support children and young people in some of the most difficult places of struggle and pain in our country. Children and young people who are experiencing places of real darkness. This Christingle service has much to say about that. That reading we've just heard from the book of Isaiah, written hundreds of years before Jesus Christ came to earth, it reminds us that our world is far from perfect and that many people in our world, including children and young people, are living in situations of darkness, of struggle, of pain. It's very easy for us to point the finger at other people and blame other people for that. But the truth is that each of us is a little bit broken. Each of us has added to the world's darkness. So before we say sorry to God and join in with a prayer of confession, let's keep a few moments silence to think about those times when we have added to the world's darkness and the world's brokenness. Let us pray. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. In a dark and disfigured world, we have not held out the light of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In a hungry and despairing world, we have failed to share our bread. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. In a cold and loveless world, we have kept the love of God to ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God, who loved the world so much, that he sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour, forgive you your sins and make you holy to serve God in the world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's invite on our Christingle. Oh, look at this wonderful Christingle. Now, I'm hoping you are going to help us understand what this means. Strange looking Christingle. First of all, we've got the orange. Who can tell me what the orange means? Does it represent the world? The world, the beautiful world which God created. And then there's this big red ribbon that goes around the orange. What does the red ribbon stand for? Jesus and God's love for the world. God's love for the world, going right round the world. And often, when we draw love hearts, they're red, aren't they? The colour of our hearts. So reminding us of God's love for the world. And then, I think my favourite part, we have the cocktail sticks covered with sweets and dried fruit. Who knows what those mean? God's creations. All the good things that God gives us. So we've got the world, God's love for the world, the four seasons, all the good things that God gives us, and then last but not least, the candle. What does the candle tell us? The candle represents Jesus' love for us. 
Fabulous. The candle is Jesus, the light of the world, here in the middle of our Christingle. And we're remembering that God loved the world so much that Jesus came into the world to show us what God's love is like. Jesus loved us so much that Jesus died for us, but Jesus came to life again. And even if it was really, really dark in this cathedral, the tiny flame of the candle could still be seen because Jesus' love and light and hope can never be put out by the pain and struggle and even death in our world. So what a wonderful Christingle, and thank you so much for helping us understand what the Christingle means. from the Gospel of John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed. I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the the way of the Lord, as prophet Isaiah said. Just over 50 years ago, the Children's Society introduced Christingle services to the Church of England. 
For over 50 years, in services around the country, Christingle has been a treasured part of Christmas, with so many children and young people holding oranges, with, with candles flickering with warmth and light and hope. But Christingle's going to be different this year. Whether your service is in a church or a school, or whether you're having your Christingle service at home, it's going to be different. And right now, we're taking part in our first ever online Christingle service, and I hope it will be the biggest Christingle service ever. Of all the years we've ever had Christingle, I think we need Christingle this year the most. 2020 has been a tough year. So many people have lost their lives, others have been really poorly, others have lost their jobs and livelihoods, and so many people have been lonely and frightened and anxious. The coronavirus crisis has hit all of us, affected all of our lives. But whilst we're all in the same storm, we're not all in the same boat. This crisis has affected the poorest and most vulnerable people in this country the most. And most of all, this crisis has affected children and young people. Too many young people are living in poverty. Too many children are feeling alone and frightened. But in this difficult year, the Christingle in your hand brings us hope. The red ribbon around the orange reminds us of God's amazing and incredible love. The cocktail sticks with the sweets remind us that even in tough, tough times, there are always things in all of our lives that we can be thankful for. And the candle right in the center shines a light, showing us that light always overcomes darkness. Throughout the Bible, time and time again, Jesus is described as the light of the world. We heard that in our reading from John's Gospel just now. And in my own life, whenever I've felt I've been in darkness, when I've prayed, I've had a real sense of God's light and God's love helping me through. This little Christingle candle reminds us that no matter how dark the room, this little candle can extinguish that darkness. And what happens is that God's love and God's light shine through Jesus Christ. And we receive that light and that love, and then we can reflect it to those around us. We can pick up the phone to an elderly person having a tough time and feeling alone. We can send a card or a text message to somebody who's struggling. We can leave some food at our local food bank. But what Chris Stingle tells us most of all is that when we stand together, even in, a, in an appropriately socially distanced way, when we stand together, our light will shine brighter. And in this service, I invite you to stand together. Whether you're in Manchester or Maidenhead, Newcastle or New Quay, Sheffield or Southampton, Liverpool or Lyme Regis, let's choose to stand together this Christmas. Because when we choose to stand together, we can make a difference. So let me tell you how you can make a difference this Christmas. 140 years ago, in this very church in South London, a remarkable and a wonderful man called Edward Rudolph saw that so many children were living in poverty and were hungry, and he was determined to do something about it, and he started the Children's Society. And he gave us a big, bold vision to build a society for all children, where no child should be frightened and no child should be left behind. And 140 years later, we still hold on to that big, bold vision. And I am so proud of my team, who work right around the country with some of the most vulnerable and disadvantaged children. The Children's Society works tirelessly to enable every child to walk tall, to enable every child to know hope. Hope of a happier home life, hope of getting a job, hope of escaping those who harm them, hope that tomorrow can be better than today. And that hope lives inside the heart of every child in this country. And the Children's Society see that hope and we fight for it. But let me level with you. 2020 has been really tough for the Children's Society too. Like so many charities, we've lost millions of pounds in income, and yet more and more children need our help. So will you choose to stand with us? Will you pray for us? Will you support us financially? And will you leave your own message of hope for children in this country? So right after this service, go to our website, christingle.org forward slash 2020 and leave your message of hope for the children of this country. I'm so grateful to you for your support and for your prayers, because together we can make a difference. Together we can rekindle hope in the hearts of children and young people in this country. Because, 
as the Christingle reminds us, light always overcomes darkness and hope always overcomes fear. Thank you for sharing the light of Christingle and helping disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest situations. We've all been through a lot this year and unfortunately disadvantaged young people have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. For the young carers who have been shouldered with more responsibility than ever, the young people who have experienced devastating effects on their mental health, or the missing children who have nowhere to shelter for the night, they need the charity support more than ever. Together, we can rekindle the hope inside these vulnerable children and provide the safety net they so urgently need. The Children's Society run vital services all across the country, helping children through one-to-one -one counselling and dedicated project workers. Together, we can help guide the most vulnerable children to a brighter future. And the kindness of our supporters help bring hope and optimism to the lives of young people. We fight for the hope and happiness of young people, taking inspiration from their courage, creating a society built for all children. Jesus said, the people who have walked in darkness have seen great light. Jesus, you came as the light of the world. We pray for the places where there is darkness and danger and for the work of the Children's Society in sharing your light. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Jesus said, let the children come to me and do not stop them. Jesus, you gave children a special place in your kingdom. We pray for children in trouble and in need and for the work of the Children's Society in sharing your promise of hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. Jesus, you cared for those who were poor and those who were sick, and you made friends with the people that nobody else would love. We pray for those in need in our community, our nation and in the world, and for the work of the Children's Society in sharing your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus said, shine as lights in the world. Jesus, you call us to act justly and with kindness. We pray for wisdom as we work to make the world a better place and for the work of the Children's Society in fighting for hope for all children and young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into te temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. We are now ready to light our Christingles. So with your parents or your guardian, take a hold of your Christingle and light it with the first prayer. But if you don't have a Christingle, that's okay. If you are coloring in the Christingle, then color in the, the appropriate parts as we say each prayer. Or if you have done the scavenger hunt around your home, then reflect on those items you found as we say these prayers together. Lord Jesus, light of the world, I hold this Christingle as a sign of your love. May, May we share your, your light, light in, in the, the darkness. darkness. The candle planted deep within the world as a sign that you made your home among us and lived with the poor and neglected. 
May we share your light in the darkness. The ribbon wrapped around the earth, a sign your love is shown on the cross, enfolding the whole world with your saving love. May we share your light in the darkness. The fruits and sweets, signs of all the good things you have made, given to us that we might share them fairly so everyone can have enough. May we share your light in the darkness. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I hold this Christingle and think about your great love for me, help me to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Chris Stingle service. And just a reminder to visit christingle.org 2020 to record your own message of hope for a vulnerable young person or child and to find out how you can support those young people and children who are most in need through the work of the Children's Society. Thank you.